Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over six free keyword research tools you can use to find keyword ideas for your business. So, we're going to get right into it. The first keyword research tool we're going to go over is the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. So what we've done is just typed in PPC advertising into the keyword planner. We're actually going to be doing that for every single keyword research tool just to kind of keep it pretty consistent. Um, and what Google AdWords will do is give you keyword ideas based on the one you typed in, average monthly searches, and then also some ideas for competition in Google AdWords and bid ranges in Google AdWords. So uh, the keyword planner is a great keyword research tool. The only thing with it being free is you need an active Google AdWords campaign to actually see the data in here. Um, so if you go to our channel, you can see our tutorial. You can set up a campaign and just set your bids like at one cent and you won't really get any activity, but you're going to be able to see everything in here. Um, so that's the one thing with the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. They just recently updated it, so you actually have to have an active campaign running to be able to search in here. So uh, number one keyword research tool for us is the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. You can add uh, all sorts of different keywords here. You can add them to your plan. You can create ad groups, and you can just uh, import it directly into Google AdWords as well. So it's a great tool uh, for people to use, whether you're looking for search engine optimization keywords or PPC advertising keywords. Number two is going to be serps.com and it's going to be their keyword research tool. So you can search their keyword research database. All you do is type in a keyword here, click I'm not a robot and search, and they pull up a bunch of different related keywords. Uh, they include search volumes, they include an average cost per click based on their data in Google AdWords, Bing ads. Um, so you can kind of see what people are you know, bidding for these types of keywords, and then they give you a value based on just multiplying these two numbers together. Um, so it gives you a good idea of what keywords are the most important to rank for. So obviously for us, we want to rank for PPC advertising, but that's the most difficult to rank for. So what you can do is try to rank for some of these other keywords here. Um, so mobile PPC advertising, um, top PPC advertising networks, um, so Google PPC advertising. You can try to create content around these keywords and eventually uh, it'll help you rank for this keyword at the top. So that's kind of what you're looking for here with the SERPs keyword research tool. So number three, um, another keyword research tool I love because they have Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, eBay. Um, it is a premium tool, but they give you some free data. So we typed in PPC advertising here for Google. Um, and as you search down, you can see they give you a bunch of different keywords. It's kind of similar to Google Autocomplete. They kind of take your keyword and they'll put a bunch of different other related keywords that people type into Google every now and then. Um, so they're going to give you a bunch of different options here. Um, it's not all going to be great. There's going to be, you know, PPC advertising Caribbean isn't really a great keyword. PPC advertising model and brief, not a great keyword. Um, so there's going to be a lot of things here that aren't that great, but you can find some options here. And my favorite thing to do is just type in your keyword. You can click on copy all. Um, so we have 131 keywords copied to the clipboard. And if we come into our fourth keyword research tool, so this is searchvolume.io. Um, so all you do is enter keywords here. And what it's going to do is pull up the search volume for those keywords based on the, the Google data. So it's going to give you average monthly searches for all the different keywords that we just typed in. So it gives you a bunch of different options here. And you can rank them you know, by what has the most average monthly searches. And it'll help you find some different keyword options. So I like to use these two together. This is number three is keywordtool.io and number four is searchvolume.io. So I like both these tools because you can kind of see a bunch of different keyword options. Obviously you want to keep searching. You can even look in YouTube. Uh, that would obviously make sense for us. So it'd be easy to find a bunch of different keyword options by using the keywordtool.io along with the searchvolume.io. Okay, now our fifth keyword research tool is going to be answerthepublic.com. Um, so they have this pretty cool screen up here, but all you do is type in your topic right here, click on get questions, and what it's going to do is pull up a bunch of different ideas for your website. So we typed in PPC advertising here, um, and it's going to show at the top up here, and it's going to give you questions, prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals, and related. So under questions, you could either go to visualization, um, which I don't really like this as much. Some people like this, um, but you could just click on data here and it'll give you a bunch of different keywords. So how PPC advertising works. What is PPC advertising? What is a PPC advertising campaign? So we keep scrolling down. They have some why keywords. They have some how keywords. Uh, so you'll see prepositions, so PPC advertising tools, PPC advertising for my website. Honestly, you could probably just use Answer the Public to find every single keyword that is related to your business. So PPC advertising on LinkedIn. The only thing it's not going to give you is overall search data. So it's it's not going to be, you know, you can't see search volume and competition for everything, but it's going to give you so many different options here. So when you're really looking for keywords, there's so many different things here. So under comparisons, you could see PPC advertising tips, PPC advertising Google, PPC advertising versus SEO. 
um, keep scrolling down so PPC advertising websites uh, so this one's alphabetical so it's gonna give you a bunch so PPC advertising sites PPC advertising statistics so it's gonna give me thousands of keywords basically based on whatever you type in um, you don't want to build content around each and every keyword but it's definitely gonna help you find some different ideas and again you can download a CSV right here make it a lot easier to kind of manage everything and see everything this is kinda of how I always do it I always do searches and just download CSV so I think all of these I don't know if this one has yep you could export with this one uh, with this one you can export with the SERPs keyword research tool, I believe they have an export. No, they don't have an export here. What I do is I just copy the whole thing like this and just paste it into Excel. And then obviously with the Google Keyword Planner, you can export. So you can always export your data with any of these keyword research tools. Just keep that in mind. So answerthepublic.com, this might be a great place to start for people. Um, just to kind of try to find some ideas, some different things. The only thing is search volume it doesn't give you. So you can use this tool along with uh, you know, our search volume tool. Or you could also type some of these keywords into Google AdWords and they'll give you the search volume as well. So uh, last but not least, our sixth keyword research tool is Neil Patel's Uber Suggest. So if you go to neilpatel.com slash Uber Suggest, all one word, you could type in a keyword here. And what it does is it pulls in a bunch of data from the Google Keyword Planner from Google Suggest about um, with all different types of keywords here. So it found 813 keywords for PPC advertising. If you compare that to, you know, the keyword tool.io only found 131. Um, so Uber suggests will give you a bunch of different options here. It'll give you some broad options too. Um, but if you come to the bottom, what I like to do is just come to the bottom again, export to CSV, and I'll go through each of the keywords, kind of rank them. You can come up here and rank it by search volume. Um, so you can see some of the different keywords here. You'll see it's Uber suggests is pretty similar to the keyword planner. Um, so if you don't want to use the keyword planner, Uber suggests is a great alternative. It's going to have some different search volume and CPC data and competition data. Um, but overall, it's pretty related and it'll also find very broad keywords to whatever you type in. So um, it's good and bad, but <clears throat> this is kind of another one I use is Uber suggests. So uh, just to recap one more time, uh, Google AdWords keyword planner, number one, serps.com keyword research tool, number two keywordtool.io keyword research tool that's going to be number three our search volume.io is number four answerthepublic.com is number five and ubersuggest.com by neil patel so neilpatel.com slash ubersuggest is number six so highly recommend all these free keyword research tools um, the only one that's semi not free is the keyword planner where you just have to create a campaign so uh, if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments thank you for watching our video today and don't forget to subscribe to our channel